Hello and welcome back Shaper Origin friends. A couple weeks back I posted two videos about the auto pass and about the high fee that Shaper is charging. And in the comments people left their thoughts about the price politics of Shaper tools and obviously not only about auto pass but also about in general their pricing about for instance the studio software and amongst others, the pricing of their router bits. Now I have to admit that this topic was not on my radar. When Shaper sent out the email that they have a lot of new router bits on their offerings, I didn't even check it out. Why? Because I thought those might be overpriced. And so I didn't even go and check out the prices. And I just continue to operate with the ones I am usually buying. Now, when I saw all those comments on those videos about the routers, I was like, well, how bad can it be? And so I went to Shape Origins website to check out the prices and it was like, I was like, what? What? Like, what are those prices a router bit for more than 150 bucks? I'm like, what can this router bit do? Can it fly or something? So I studied those prices and I studied those bits and I agreed with most of the comments about that topic that this was not okay. Like those prices are, are just outrageous. They're just rip off. It, it is what it is. It's a rip off. So um, I also realized that for many of those bits, I actually through time over the last couple of years when I posted videos about different bits, I had already presented bits that are similar um, and they're much cheaper. So I thought I'll do a video um, to talk about the bits that Shaper Origin offers and alternatives that are similar. Now, if I say similar, similar is not the same, right? So uh, the bits on the Shaper tool website might be of high quality. Well, I, I hope they're of good quality if they're that um, expensive. And so if you take cheaper bits, they might be of lower quality. If I say similar, it's also because some of those bits, you might not find an alternative on the, like with the exact same dimensions, the exact same blades and everything. So they're similar, they do a similar job but they're not the same. So this video is about comparing some of those bits. Now, Shaper has a large list of bits on their website, and I will not go through all of those bits and present you an alternative. That would be boring. So I will just pick out three examples, and then the rest I will leave in the descriptions links to those alternatives. You can go and study them. You can figure out yourself if those bits are actually doing what they should, or if you want to go with a more expensive alternative that a Shaper offers. All right, let's start. The first bit I want to talk about is the 60 millimeters by 60 millimeters clearing router bit that costs on the Shaper tool website $159. So what does that bit do? It is kind of like a bottom cleaning router bit. You see, it has a 16 millimeters head and you can cut a maximum of 16 millimeters depth per pass, which more, more than that you, you don't need anyway. And it has a long shank, so you can actually um, route pretty deep. So this is a bit to remove a lot of material, likely for larger pocket cuts and these type of things. All right, a while back, I posted a video about long shank router bits that you can use to make large pocket cuts. And that's a set of high quality bits. Now within that set, there is a 16 millimeter one. And you can also buy that separately, not within the set. So the 16 millimeter one costs you 51 euro, which is nowadays more or less one to one to dollar. So about $50. So instead of $159, you can buy this for about $50. Now, that's a big difference. And the function is the same. It's even more like you have a longer shank with the one I presented you, and it's also a longer cutting blade. 
So if you think about it that way, it is even superior uh, compared to the one that Shaper offers. Now, if you want to go crazy, you can buy the entire set with five high quality bits, 435 euros, so about $135. So for less money, you get five bits of different sizes uh, that you can then use to cut different uh, sized pocket holes. So I don't know if that clearing router bit that uh, Shaper offers has any weird magic in it that I'm not aware of, but as far as I can see, you will be uh, way better off with the alternative bit that is of high quality and is much cheaper. So that's one example. The second example I wanna pick out is the eight millimeter by 35 millimeter up spiral flat router bit. Now that bit is clearly meant for you to like drill deep because it has a pretty large uh, cutting blade and it has also a long shank of 80 millimeters. Um, so this one goes for $95 on the Shaper website. All right, can we find an alternative to that bit? Oh, hell yeah, we can. For instance, there is an eight millimeter by 52 millimeter router bit, so it has a longer cutting blade than the one offered from Shaper, and it is also 80 millimeters long, so it's pretty much the same. Now this one goes for $19. 19 compared to 95, and it does the same. So I would say you're better off buying this one, and if it breaks or if it's dull, you don't wanna um, sharpen it, you just buy a new one, or you go with sharpening. That's the second example. The third example is an eighth of an inch by half of an inch up spiral O-flute router bit. Now that one is rather similar to the one you get with your Shaper Origin. So it's an eighth of an inch um, cutting bit, uh, but then it, it gets blown up to a quarter inch uh, for a quarter inch collet. Now I have shown you a while back an alternative where you uh, use an eighth of an inch bit with an eighth of an inch shank, which has the advantage that you can actually cut deeper. Now for this, you need an eighth of an inch collet, and here's a video that you can check out uh, to learn more about collets, but I would recommend you to buy that collet anyway, because that's a really useful one. So that means that if you buy an eighth of an inch bit with an eighth of an inch shank, you can drill deeper, so that's one advantage. But the other advantage is that it's also much cheaper because you can actually get 10 of those bits, and I repeat, 10 of those bits for $12 compared to the $38 that you pay for one of those bits at the Shaper Origin website. All right, these were three examples. Now, uh, Shaper Origin offers a lot more um, bits on their website and what I did is I took the work to go through Amazon and look for alternative links that are similar to the ones offered by Shaper um, and link to those um, and so you can study this and uh, figure out if you want to go with the expensive ones or the cheaper ones. Now I want to mention here that the links that I offer are so-called Amazon affiliate links so if you buy through one of those links I get a couple of cents um, so thanks for that in case you do it. All right, um, this was the third video in a row where I kind of, I am not so happy with Shaper and I'm kind of like ranting about their prices and their price um, philosophy. I'm sorry about that because I actually love the Shaper Origin. I use it all the time and I will continue using it, right? Um, and so me being critical about uh, Shaper's price philosophy and the way they have changed through time on uh, how they're charging us for things does not mean I hate Shaper, right? It's like, it's like with your kids, right? We have kids and they screw up. You need to tell them. You still love them. I still love Shaper Origin. I will continue using it. And I will continue supporting them where I think it makes sense, right? 
But if they charge 159 bucks for a router bit, I'm not going to fly with that. I'm going to look for alternatives and I am providing you alternatives so you can decide if you go for the expensive version or for the cheaper one. All right? I mean, that's it. Thanks for your time. Have fun using your Shape Origin. Have fun picking the right router bits. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and see you around.